Today, I'm going to be gathering microbes to build my soil. And what the microbes do is they um, protect the plant's roots from um, parasites and things that grow, improving nutrient cycling and soil structure, and protecting against a variety of plant stresses, including drought and environmental extremes. First, you need some pantyhose, or I prefer knee highs. Now, also, you're going to need some rice, in about two cups. Here. And I prefer organic, and I'm an organic gardener, so um, everything I buy like needs to be organic. If I could find organic pantyhose, I would. You don't want to use just an ordinary cotton sock because the, the sock will rot before um, we're done. And it's going to need about a month in the ground. You need a funnel. So I'm going to take this piece of cardboard, roll an end, and stretch. The, knee high, no nonsense, over the box. I'm going to take a cup of rice and pour it. So here we have a good good amount of rice here with the penny hose. I'm going to tie it off with a pipe cleaner. And this will close it off and be a marker because I'm going to have to try to find this thing in a month. So here we are with our rice bag and a shovel and my trusty dog. And we uh, picked this old growth maple tree. Maple tree is probably about 500 years old. And it's about 100 feet from my garden. Um, what you're looking to do is you want to pick the healthiest trees around because those are the ones that have the healthiest microbes. And they're a healthy tree because of healthy microbes. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the base of this tree. We wanna dig a 10 inch hole down here. What we're looking for is 60 degrees. So microbes live very good in 60 degrees. If they get much colder, some of them will die. And so, um, we're looking at 10 inches deep is uh, where we're going to get a consistent temperature, at least in this climate underneath a tree. We're going to take our rice bag and we're going to stick it down into the bottom of our hole. We're going to pack it back in here. nice and tight and what's going to happen here is the beneficial microbes from this tree will start um, feeding off the starch in this white rice and uh, white rice is the best for um, starch if uh, the, brown, the brown rice doesn't work quite as well okay so then I'll take a stick and put my stocking on the stick and uh, I've got this little tie on it so I can find it. It's really important to be able to find it. <laughs> All right, we're going to let that sit for a month now. And today's February 13th. And so on around, right around March 15th, I'll come back and take this out. And the rice will have all kinds of microbes in it. And it'll be all kinds of cool colors, which you'll see. Another great, the best place you could put the um, rice bags is in your bamboo. And if you don't have any bamboo, plant some. It's really, make sure it's the clumping type. But they have the most microbes, beneficial microbes, than any other tree or plant. So now I'm going to stick another one of these rice and pantyhose bags in next to the bamboo. I'm going to dig out around it so I don't damage it. Let's see if I can pull it out. Very gently so it doesn't tear. Let's put 
your stocking will look like after one month. You can see stuff growing inside the bag. You can see the coloration in it. So it's really important to mark these. As you saw in the bamboo, they completely disappear. If you know mice can eat the stocking and stuff. So this one should be a little easier to dig up. You know what it is. Oh, yeah. Well, you can see that one. You can really see the growth. And so we don't want to expose this to sunlight, even though it's not much of a sunny day today. But we're going to put it in the paper bag here. And we're going to go over and start mixing our molasses and water together. There's our molasses. Nice and rich, organic molasses. One part molasses to four parts water. Yeah. One part. Let me get this molasses straight up here. Oh, and just rinse the bag off a little bit. So now we're going to cut this open. All kinds of stuff started growing in here. We have all different colors of stuff. We have yellows and blues and reds. You can see they already started consuming the rice. So I'm going to break this up in the right container. All right, so we have to let this sit for another month now. Good job here. Okay, now this one's out of the bamboo. We got green rice, blue rice. We're gonna put them in. This is how you grow your local microbes. So here are the store-bought ones that I have. They're endo and ecto. What we'll do is we'll put these in, in into our last batch and we will grow the ones that we might not have on this land. So we want to get a full spectrum of mycorrhizae. So yeah, I added the stockings in this batch and the store-bought ones and we'll have, this will be our full spectrum of uh, all the ones I could find in the stores, and I'll probably try to find some more. And so, uh, I'll be growing these microbes in these buckets for another month. So you'd like to store your microbes in ideally around 60 degrees. So we'll be brewing these for a month. So now we're looking at April 16th, and then we'll be putting them all together in a 55 gallon drum, and blending them and letting them sit for another month. At that point we'll be applying them to the soil and we'll spray it down, we'll spray the soil down and uh, we're looking at about mid-May we'll be spraying the soil down and we'll put uh, plastic over the beds and that'll give them uh, some incubation because these they like to stay warm, they like to stay around 60 degrees and that's what you know we don't want it to go below 60 so it's good to you know have that plastic on there because uh, about the first of, of June is when we start getting above 60 degree soil temperatures. And, uh, you know, that's when we plant our corn and everything. So. The microbes will be uh, working and they'll be um, strengthening the roots by um, actually um, forming a bacteria, which is a, a very beneficial bacteria that will grow on the roots. And there's other bacteria that will grow in the soil. And what these will do is they will consume the harmful bacteria. And so we want to, what we're doing is we're um, trying to balance our soils to give it a healthy bacteria to, to live in. So this, these microbes will end up being permanent residents of the soil unless we till. And then if we till, then we will expose it to the air and our light and the sun and they will die. So what we want to do is we don't want to over till and you know, that's just a, another strategy of gardening, and that's not tilling your whole bed, but just 
digging up where you're going to be planting. And so then you can keep your bio beneficial microbes and bacteria in the soil.